Welcome back guys to another episode of Creating a Legacy with FC United of Manchester. Season 4 is complete and it has ended in disappointment. First off, I was so disappointed I didn't record the final game of the season, which was a good thing because we lost. Um, but we're going to end just with the end of season awards and review etc and just go through and kind of just talk about the plan going ahead because... Um, we are in, going into season five now and we're still in the conference north. Um, not what I expected, but what I will say is this is a long term journey and it is certainly long term. Um, so the team in the end of season awards, the best team of the season was Nizic, Bender, Mills, Brady, Cox, O'Toole, Morton, Sibson, Ellison, Bellbaggy and Gilchrist up top. Um, fans play the season was or two. Linfield surprisingly in third. He only played well, he played twenty games. Sorry, in second. Bram in third. End of season review. Um, few would tip FC United to be capable of avoiding relegation. Harsh. Um, so we lost in second. That seriously needs fixing. Next season we need to do one the FA Cup. Um, as you see, we finished ninth in the Conference North, which we'll go on to in a second. Match of the season was a 3-0 victory away to Markham. Worst game of the season was a 4-1 away defeat to Boston. I agree with that. Average attendance of 2,646. Total players used 25, the 18th highest. Um, so that's obviously something to keep an eye on. So Boston against Gainsborough in the playoff final. But we finished in 9th place, guys, as you can see. Now that is our best finish in all four seasons so far so technically we're on the rise um schedule wise um it's done nothing again here we go so as you can see we followed up the harrigan with a 2-1 victory against brackley but that was followed up with a 2-0 defeat to blythe a 2-1 defeat at home to stockport in the derby and a 2-1 away defeat to nuneaton so it was over by then um it was long long gone after the blythe i think so nuneaton was a dead rubber we ended the season with four hundred thousand in the bank so we have made money this season not a lot we definitely need to improve on that um but let's look positively um in terms of the squad gilchrist is leaving us um uh Ajera, the guy young nigeria we signed never settled and he's been bitching like a little girl so he is now leaving us Ten thousand we're getting for him which is nice we signed him on a free and Hugh Johnson is leaving us. Um, what's this say? Uh, doesn't think Jamie Osborne deserves a place in the first team. It's okay then because he's not in the first team. He's only played two games off the bench all season. Um, so keep your nose out. Um, but most of the team is staying exactly the same for next season. So I'm hoping the structure will um, keep us and do well kind of just keeping the same players and only adding maybe one or two and um, robbie mcdead i do hope can develop and score some goals next season he only got three in the 12 games in the league this season and um, obviously come back from that injury and um i think the key player for next season is uh lee sibson we do hope he can develop he might need a shave ready for next season who knows um and Bell Baggy as well another player who did well in his first season for the club hopefully he's gonna continue to push on but i do think we need a couple acquisitions i mean what i will say is we've obviously got this guy who is probably going to be our first choice right back next season ahead of mills i'm not too sure because mills has the 19 for long throws and i can't utilize that if he's playing center back as much um but the summer's going to be interesting because it's going to be very little happening but very important things happening we need to add two or three players to the side um, and they're going to be key players to add so along with the age and development of Bram Ellison um, Simpson, Morton, um, McDaird up front is still young um, and then our defenders in the terms of Dunn and Brady and Kipfer to an extent he's not playing many he still wants to leave um, we've got a very young side so hopefully they can continue to develop and we can we can push on for next season obviously we don't know what they expect of us for next season yet um, but hopefully it's going to be around the same which takes pressure off us um, let's just go through the other parts of this club so the under 21 finished ninth win won six drew six lost 12 um, there's some big teams in there Tramia, Cruz Youth, Shrewsbury, Preston, Wigan 
So we did well. And um, the under 18s, they came in 10th place, which is exactly mid table. So not too bad, definite improvement on previous years. And again, developing the youth is something I want to focus on and checking out players from these sort of clubs who might possibly be selling these players. I mean, he scored loads, scored 21 goals in these um, games, 28 non competitive, 21 for actual competitive matches. He actually played some games for Brackley's first team as well, but these are the leagues I'm going to be now scouting. Um, so, two or three first team players I want to bring in, and a couple of youth players. Because um, what I will show you as well is stuff I've been working on in the background is for exa example hot prospects 315 hot prospects to go through and i will be going through them all so hopefully we can get a few out of there who actually want to come to us as you'll see some of them are from like liverpool everton west brom um so are they going to come i doubt it but definitely worth scouting them and keeping a close eye on them so thanks for listening watching viewing and join us for season five where we will continue to try to get out of the Van Ram Conference North.